Hi guys, today I'll be sharing all about my morning skincare routine. I did a Kiehl's skincare routine almost two years ago. My acne scarring was quite bad then, but I really enjoyed using Kiehl's products. They worked very well for me and have helped my skin improve a lot. After using Kiehl's products on and off for the past two years, I'm here to update you guys with my current skin condition and my current Kiehl's morning skincare routine. Today, I'll also be sharing about the new Calendula Serum Infused Water Cream, which is the latest addition to Kiehl's Calendula line. Kiehl's recently sent me a deluxe size version of the cream, as well as the deluxe sizes of their other Calendula products. Since I'm a huge fan of their Calendula line, I was already going to go and buy it, but I'm super thankful that the Kiehl's team sent it to me so I can try it out first. To cleanse my face, I'll be using the Kiehl's Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. I've repurchased this cleanser a few times now and I've used it for quite a while. It's one of my holy grail products and I highly recommend trying it. The full size bottle lasts for a long time as well so I think it's a very good investment. I start by pumping out around half a pump of cleanser and lathering it on my palms, followed by massaging my face in upward circular motions. This cleanser is not drying at all and helps keep me acne free. After cleansing, I dry my face and apply a wash off mask. Today, I'll be using Kiehl's Calendula and Aloe Soothing Hydration Mask. It has a lightweight formula and contains calendula flower petals and aloe gel. You only have to apply it on your face for 3 minutes before rinsing it away. It's super refreshing and cooling and I think that it's really great for morning use. This toner is another holy grail product of mine. Actually, I got the limited edition Banneker packaging from Christmas last year, but since I had some other toners opened, I haven't opened this full size one yet. Today, I'll be using the deluxe size which I used on my Bali trip last month. The Calendula Herbal Extract Alcohol Free Toner is formulated with select herbal extracts to gently cleanse and soothe the skin without the use of alcohol or any harsh synthetic drying agents. It smells like iced tea and is really fresh on the skin. If you have oily acne skin like me, I highly recommend this toner. It's an investment, but it really helps soothe my skin and relax my breakouts. It's not as harsh as my AHA, BHA, PHA toners, and I use it as a calmer and more high-end alternative to my favorite Some By Me toner. After toning, I pat in some essence to help the other skincare products that I layer on top of my skin to absorb better. The Iris Extract Activating Essence is good for those whose skin is starting to age and those who want to bring radiance back to their skin. This essence is very comfortable on the skin and makes the skin feel smooth, soft, and supple. I don't really want any other product to get into my sensitive eye area, so I follow Michelle Fan's trick and use an eye cream before serums and moisturizers. I love the Face Shop's The Therapy Secret Made Anti-Aging Eye Cream because it's not that heavy and it's not too light. If you're someone who is more mature, you might not like this eye cream. However, if you're in your 20s like me, this is a perfect eye cream to help keep your eye area fresh, bright, and prevent it from forming wrinkles. I've been enjoying clear skin recently, but my itchy hands recently popped a pimple and it left a new scar on my cheek. This is why I've recently switched back to my Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. This is the more high-end alternative to my favorite Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop Serum and I usually alternate between the two. This serum acts super fast in evening skin tones and I can usually see dark spots and acne scars disappear in a few weeks time. It's also very hydrating and overall makes my skin look clearer and brighter. This serum is one of the hidden gems in my skincare collection and I save it for days when I really want to treat my skin or if I really need to help fade some scars. To seal all of my skincare, I'll be using the new Calendula Serum Infused Water Cream. 
Suitable for those with normal to oily and combo skin, this moisturizer helps to reduce redness, boost radiance, even the skin tone, improve uneven texture, and soften the skin, immediately giving the skin 24-hour long-lasting hydration. The scent of this cream is very similar to the calendula and aloe mask, if not a little more citrusy. It has a water cream texture and it feels very lightweight. It doesn't leave a shiny finish and feels comfortably light on the skin. This unique water cream texture was actually made to contain Kiehl's Concentrated Calendula Serum. When you apply it on your skin, the Calendula Serum transforms into a burst of freshness and delivers hundreds of micronized calendula petals and the highest level of calendula extract Kiehl's has ever produced directly onto the skin. After analyzing the ingredient list, I found that it's pretty clean aside from the citral and geranial fragrance. Aside from calendula extracts, it also contains ingredients that are good for those with dry skin, those who want to promote wound healing, and for those who want anti-aging benefits. After using the moisturizer, I can say that I'm a fan, and I'll definitely be getting the full-size tub for myself soon. After it fully absorbs, I apply my sunblock. Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence is perfect because it's hydrating and it protects my skin well against the tropical sun without feeling heavy or leaving a white cast. And that's it for my basic skincare routine. I usually switch out the toner and the serum depending on my needs or I layer more. But aside from that, the others are my current staple products. If you guys would like to try the new Calendula Serum Infused Water Cream, I recommend dropping by your nearest kill shop to get a free sample. I also recommend trying out the Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution if you're someone like me who deals with acne scars. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.